let's make it a good day. We do it our own way. Let's make it a good day. Oh, no matter what they say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of Yam House. The guys are going to be on our show tomorrow, so don't, uh, don't miss that. They've been on the road. I love those guys. Well, welcome back. Uh, you've heard me talk about him quite a bit over the past uh, basically half a year. Uh, my trainer, Austin. I commonly refer to him as hashtag hot trainer. And, well, this picture could explain why. He's very, very unattractive. Uh, here he is on his Instagram page. I always give him grief. I'm like, do you have clothes? Uh, but uh, do I need to say more? I don't think so. Well, after talking about my trainer, Austin, over and over, I decided that it would be fun to take Kendall along for one of my workouts. So we both visited Los Campeones uh, Gym in Northeast Minneapolis for, uh, and this, they really did do my workout routine. Look at this. Yes, we are back at the gym. I'm saying back at the gym because as I explained, we're shooting this for a second time with hot trainers. I'm sexy and I know it. Because the last time. Before we go any further, we're gonna do our first microphone check of this story. Photographer Eric, are the microphones on? So now Kendall is going to get to go through one of my workouts and we're going to do something that a little different from the last time. She's going through my least favorite day and that is leg day. I love leg day. Because we like to have fun here at the gym. We're doing a ball pass down in that squat position. Kendall, are you ready? Okay. Why? <laughs> and back. Throw it back. Aggressively. Just God. like that. Okay. Just like that. Okay. I'll throw it aggressively. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's not kill each other. <laughs> Let's oh. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> We're good. We're gonna get kicked out. They're in gonna two kick seconds. me out. They're gonna kick me out. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, she's basically oh, taking over plane. Austin. This isn't she wants to do something not even for the story. This wasn't part of the plan. I have no idea why she wants Austin to do the glute bridges. Couple more. I'm sexy and I know it. Glute bridges. <laughs> They're good for your for the booty. If they say glute bridges one more time, I know what they are. This is Kendall's kettlebell, and then this is my kettlebell. That doesn't seem right. Okay. So how much does that weigh? This one is 106 pounds. Just put it this way. That's basically one producer Ted. It's one producer Ted you're picking up. Try to. <laughs> Dang. That's all I got. <laughs> all right, guys, we got dumbbell deadlifts coming up next. Jason. I've never done these. Yes, you have. <laughs> We've been doing them. <laughs> we have? I don't know how to do that. The trick is if you if you act like you don't know something, it stretches out the time. Let's try let's get a little bit more like togetherness on this one. Nice. And uh folks I'm pushing that hip back. That's it, Jason. Nice. Good. Nice, beauty. Squat them down when you're ready. How'd that feel guys? Good! Where'd you feel it? Right here. I don't wanna look like that's the movie. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot for a coworker. It's a lot. It's very HR. Just dropping straight down in that squat and coming up. Just like so. Like you're sitting in a hole. You go straight down. Okay. Kendall, we need you to sit in a hole, like you're in like a mud hole or something. It's called the super squat. I feel super great about it. Okay. Where's the thingy? And then this. Straight down. <laughs> nice. And then up. Beauty. I don't like this one. <laughs> it has so many. Austin, how beneficial is this? I like this one because there's no like pressure on your spine at all. 
And so we can actually really bump up that weight. How many are you doing? I did eight. Just keep going. It's not, it's not a cruise ship. <laughs> Dead. No. Six. How come no one counts for me? Oh, I'm counting for you. Two more. Two more. You can get a little lower, I think. You, <laughs> you can't put that on TV. Wow. It, it took me about two months to start cussing in front of Austin. It only took Kendall 32 minutes. He's a good dude. I gotta tell you, you know, uh, I'll make this quick. I, uh, one of the aspects of working out with him that it was a kind of a challenge is the fact that, um, you know, that's a, that's a real gym girl. That's a gym Eric saw that's full of bodybuilders and people that are not messing around. And as a guy that's never really been athletic, I was really intimidated walking in there. I was afraid I was going to be judged and, and uh, looked upon. It's like, oh, what, the, what are you doing here? But I, it's, it's just a great gym. Everyone's really supportive, and they really don't care about you being there. Um, they're just all really nice, and I've kind of overcome that fear uh, thanks to Austin. So he's a good dude, and uh, I, I, I love promoting small businesses. And he started his business in the pandemic in his mid-20s. I was hanging out at chicken places in my mid-20s, and this dude started his own company, so I'm really proud of him. Uh, you can find him on social media. Just find, uh, look for Austin Gelhar. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Back in a moment.